Namaskar and welcome to Adi Yoga. Today is uh, Shivratri, Maha Shivratri, and every year we try to tell you how you can worship Shiva. Last year we said a particular mantra, a particular chant, a particular spiritual practice that you can carry forward for a year. And if you have done that for a year, please put some comments on under this video or we'll put up a link of our WhatsApp community, our WhatsApp uh, group, so that you can post your experiences there. Before you even worship Shiva, you must understand what this Shiva and Shakti thing is. I've been to many places, um, and especially when we move, go towards the Asia side. I see the Shiv Lingam and the Yoni is actually the reproductive organs depicted as close as possible. Now what does it mean? Somebody is trying to get moksha by renunciating all of this. And somebody is trying to get moksha by enjoying life. But the people who are renunciating life are questioning the people who are enjoying life. Well, how can they get moksha because they are not sacrificing anything? The very moment you understand shivling, the Shiva and Shakti, this very cosmos, this very world or this all cosmoses means do not restrict your thinking till this galaxy, all the universes, all the people around the world and all the stuff. Not around the world, I mean to say all the all the aliens and all the stuff, yeah. So called aliens, they are other beings, other lives. They start with one basic thing reproduction. And without reproduction there is hardly anything that can exist because things are reproducing, people are reproducing, animals are reproducing and this whole world is alive. Take example of this earth, yeah? Now when we are talking about this, the very cosmos, the God belt or this super energy belt, it is residing itself in it. I think I said it right. This very system, this very God is residing in its own creation. By renunciating, you are not going anywhere. Some might can get a rare phenomena. That's why it's rare. Because nobody told you to enjoy this life because it's all about experience that you get. Have you ever thought what you get by meditating, by eating, by going to a certain place? What do you get by worshipping Shiva? Experience. And this experience itself makes you what you are. If you are not experiencing here, you are not trying to experience it. If you are not experiencing and if you are not even trying to experience, the very things this system has created in a good way, you are missing out something. The renunciation part will at a certain point will feel like that you have missed so many things in life. So bhakti, worshipping Shiva, comes with having everything in life, a good health, a good mind, a good body, good money, good people around you, good relationships, all of that, including living, enjoying all of these scenarios with good health, with good money, good relationships, with moksha. Moksha is not something that you get in the end. It is what you live with. If your guru, if your system, if your teachers have been able to, have not been able to give you that, then you need to think again. Sometimes we are just working by ourselves listening to like this video you know this video is not any good than other video or something like that 
do not misunderstand until you take action for this shivaratri the best advice is know the real purpose and if you really want to know your real purpose why you are here what you are here to accomplish or experience you can book a consultation <laughs> it feels like little advertisement but still it is what it is and um, in our consultation we we try to sort out your entire life your health wealth money everything everything your spiritual journey as well book your consultation and if you really want to go beyond then we have our courses for chakra activation this Shivratri, I have a gift for you. That this gift I gave you earlier also, I think. Anybody who's literally want to get enlightened and very serious about it, literally want to get moksha. Enlightenment is a uh, English word which which doesn't s satisfy the whole concept of nirvana. So, anyways, I hope you understand. You can send us an email. I will personally look into the email. Anyways, I go through every email by myself and we can get in touch within three days to three years. You will be at a point where you can say, where you can feel, experience God by itself and so-called moksha. I think this video is far enough. Do what you have already been doing with Shiva. We have already taught enough on this channel. You can go scroll through the channel. What you can do this night to worship Mahashivratri, to worship Shiva and Shakti. I think uh, with this, I will take your leave. And please, if you are serious, only then contact. I don't want to waste your time. Pranam.